Good morning guys, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama, and we've got a little bit different video today out here at Jurassic Park with my chickens. We're going to talk about chicken poop and composting, and this is something that I've been sort of passively planning to do since I've had chickens. Obviously, it wasn't like the main reason that I got chickens, but it was something like, oh yeah, this is another side benefit. It saves money. It's good for the environment, blah, blah, blah. But recently, I've learned some new information about it, and as I do plan to actively start doing chicken poop composting here in the fall, I wanted to pass along some information. So if you've got chickens... They are one of, you know, the few pets that you can have where their poop is actually useful. So I've just got some suggestions for you and some safety precautions if you plan on using your chicken poop in your garden. So chicken poop is unique for a couple of different reasons. First of all, the urates and the actual fecal matter, basically the pee and the poop is all together and that's how it is for all birds, which is why some of the poop is a whitish color and some of the poop is more of a green or brown. The whitish part is the equivalent of our urine and the other part is the equivalent of like solid matter. The problem with that though means that there's a lot more ammonia in it. Now, unlike dog poop, cat poop, a lot of other pets that you may have, um, you know, your goldfish poop, <laughs> chicken poop is actually useful because you can put it back out in your garden um, and it is safe for you to put under trees shrubs uh, your vegetables and your fruit trees in other words even if it's a plant that's creating something that you're going to eat or like your herbs chicken poop is useful here's the problem though and I learned this from um, because basically I'm a 70 year old woman um, I go to a lot of gardening classes gardening and plants as you can see is another one of my passions now we are in a rental house so that's why most of my stuff is in pots um, because I don't want to leave it here and then of course the plants that are here on the property because this property was neglected for years um, we're still in the process of pruning it down and not making it look like a shabby disaster but anyway so in going to all of the garden classes I was talking to an expert and I'm here in San Antonio Texas and they were talking about how there was an increase of E. coli and salmonella breakouts which we haven't really dealt with in you know 50 or 100 years because now we're a lot better about you know cooking our meat and we have hand sanitizer and better soaps and all kinds of stuff and theoretically, you know, we're cleaner and more civilized than we used to be, right? But the problem is that people are getting backyard chickens. Backyard chickens are becoming more popular, yay! But people are just grabbing the poop, like the fresh poop that they take straight out of the coop and putting it under their plants. That is a no-no, you can't do that. And I have never done that because I'm just not at that point yet. And we do have a composter that I'll show you in a minute. But for me, I didn't realize, oh yeah, I guess it needs time to break down. So we're going to talk about how you would handle that. And basically, if you watch this video now and you start working on this, then in the spring, six months from now, it's going to be the perfect time for you to be able to use that compost that you've been working on. So there's a couple of different ways that you can compost chicken poop. And when we're talking about composting, basically what you're doing is you're letting things, the way I teach it to my kids, <sighs> Lacey, it's not your video, girl. Jeez. is you're you're letting things break down and go back to the earth that's how we talk about it you know leaves will decompose and dead bugs and all kinds of stuff will go back down to the earth and that's what we want to happen now for things to be composting at a faster rate they need heat and it will help if you have little garden helpers that I'll talk about in a second and it does need moisture so the type of compost that I have is this barrel here in the back Let's see if I can get this decrepit gate open so um, there's a whole bunch of different methods you can do for composters. And honestly, if you've got chickens in a chicken run, you can make literally a pile of compost and your chickens will dig through it and they'll eat some stuff and they'll poop in it. And then you just go and rotate it around um, and that will decompose over time and then you can grab it. The problem I have with that, first of all, is I don't trust my chickens. Um, you know, they don't need to be going through and eating stuff that's that's rotting. I don't really know enough about how that works. And then plus, you know, if they're pooping on it every day, it's never really getting a chance to break down and be older because they're pooping on it every day. So what you need to do, in my opinion, is you need to grab it and put it in a separate zone where you know, okay, you know, this, this stuff is at least X amount of days old. So this composter that we have, it's called a barrel composter. And it's really great if, um, I mean, even if you're in an apartment or you don't have as much yard space because it's enclosed, it does not smell. It's super easy easy um, and it rotates 360 degrees it's got rain water on it because we got rain in the night but you unlock it dump your stuff in if you haven't watered in there in a while you use your hose and you make sure everything's nice and wet and then you just spin it a couple of times and it shakes everything up the other thing that's cool about this composter is that 
there are bugs like black soldier flies that can get in there and lay their larva in there and that's what you want you want little helpers like worms um, different kinds of beetle larva even ants will go in there and they help speed up that breakdown process because you know you want all the ammonia and all of those gases to be released so that the stuff is actually useful to your plants so the barrel composter is a really great thing you can use pallets or old just old pieces of wood and build yourself sort of like a little lean-to or like a little box and be dumping stuff in there um, you can use anything that's um, from I'm thinking like when you're weeding uh, the, our bald cypress has like dumped all of its leaves everywhere so that's why this is so crazy looking um, your grass clippings like I said chicken poop things like potato skins or mushrooms that went bad, strawberry tops, stuff like that. You don't want anything that's going to be really hard to break down. So um, I personally don't recommend onions um, because, I mean, my chickens can't eat onions, first of all, and then also stuff like that doesn't break down the same way, as well as, what was I just thinking, banana peels, stuff like that that might take longer, avocado skin, avocado pits. I mean, just kind of think about the, the item and think, okay, how easy would this be to break down? How quickly, how easily would it break down? But like my, my herb plants have, you know, their annuals, they've expired, so these are going to be coming out and they can go in. Um, so all of that kind of stuff can go in. And then you need to give it moisture, you need to give it heat. It's better if you, I mean, and you can even go buy, like go buy earthworms like at a fish and tackle store or, you know, and dump them in there. They'll live their entire life cycle in there just eating stuff and, you know, pooping it out and breaking it down. And then you can use it that way. The problem though is that, you know, you need to add chicken poop up to a certain point and then say, okay, I'm not gonna add any more chicken poop. And now we set the timer for six months. Does that make sense? You can't let it be breaking down, but then you're always adding new material because then it's never going to be ready. So adding material, mixing it up, and then leaving it alone. So what I'm going to do this weekend and next weekend is start dumping chicken poop in there, but then set a timer and say, okay, this stuff isn't going to be ready. The chicken poop is not going to be broken down enough for at least six months. So what can we do with compost? Compost is good for anything, any time of the year. And you can put it in for potted plants. You could put it into raised garden beds. You could put it into stuff that's in the ground. And essentially, um, another study that came out of Texas A&M, and I hope I'm quoting it correctly, is that the organic matter in our soil, at least here in Texas in the United States, is less than 0.5% now as far as organic material. That's not rock. That's not whatever. Look at Gracie. Lazy bird. The ground is nice and cool today. We got rain all yesterday evening, which was wonderful. We've needed it so badly. I was thanking God and standing out on my porch that we got rain. And now the chickens are just, it's nice and cool. They're just being lazy. It's beautiful. My kids have been playing in the mud for literally the last three hours. But anyway, so it's always a good time to compost. Okay. And I'll talk, this is a little bit of a tangent because now we're talking more about gardening. But you can put compost in and mix it in with soil if you're doing potted plants. You could put it around a new tree that you're planting in the ground. You can mix it in the soil of your garden boxes. And the same kind of compost is good for all plant matter. So it's not like I need to have this kind of compost for this tree and I need to have this kind of compost for my flower bed. No, no, no. Compost is always a good idea and everybody can use it, I would say twice a year. And if it's something that's already in the ground or in a pot, you just kind of mix up like the top layer of soil with your compost and just put it all the way around. Around. and it's not anything that's that's going to be bad it's not going to hurt it but essentially at this point the way our soil is at least here in the US or the southern US to be more specific you know there's there's not enough organic material for you to just dump stuff in the dirt and say okay grow and be fine um, and for a lot of plants it takes them three years to be really established and really as hardy or as uh, flourishing as you know as people advertise that they are it's like well that's not going to happen immediately that takes a good couple of years so we are, you know, we've brought that barrel composter with us and haven't really been actively putting food scraps and stuff in it, but now we're going to get back into it because in the early spring is when we want to do a lot more and that can be used for your grazing boxes. It's chicken safe. So um, if you want, you can get kind of crazy with composting and I haven't, but if you want to, um, you know, Pinterest is a great place for me to look for ideas and I pin ideas. You can find me real simple mama on Pinterest. I do have my own content on there, but like 95% of it is other people's genius, you know, other people's articles and their ideas and things like that. And I do have a gardening board that does talk all about, oh my gosh, that was a big B. Jeez. It went right in my face. Oh, did you see me shake the camera? Oh my goodness. What was that Gally? Get it. My attack chicken. 
So, um, but you can look up recipes and proportions as far as, you know, your compost needs to be 25% this and 50% this and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, you can get kind of crazy, but I mean, to me, having chicken poop is not the number one reason to have chickens. I mean, they're not that terrible. Um, you know, there's lots of other reasons to have chickens, but while you're at it, you know, if you are, even if you're just doing a grazing box for your girls or, you know, you just have standard flower beds and you're not like a crazy plant nerd like I am, you know, even if that's the case, I mean, you've got free fertilizer, why not use it? But the clarification here and the main point of this video is you need to let it break down before you put it on your plants. It needs to break down for at least six months, six to 12 months. And I'm trying to find a good chicken poop specimen here. It rained last night, so there's not a lot of good specimens. Um, but, you know, the, there's the two different colors of the chicken poop, and it varies in color a little bit, right? But again, the white part is the urates, and that's the basically the, the equivalent of urine. And then the dark part is the equivalent of, of fecal matter. So, this, so if we're zooming in right there, that's what we're talking about. And so that's why it needs longer to break down. You know, horse manure, cow manure, they are herbivores so there's not you know that's why their poop doesn't really stink because they don't eat meat um theirs doesn't take as long to break down but that's because their urine is not part of it and the urine is the the, the problem because of the ammonia so don't give your family e coli <laughs> don't have a salmonella outbreak at your little homestead that would not be fun so chicken poop is great um you know i would say you know if you get a little bit of if you're scraping the poop out and you get a little bit of pine shavings in your composter great fine it's no big deal if you get a little bit of the dirt or like i've talked about in my other videos pdz a minute amount of that is not going to hurt anything a minute amount of poultry dust or diatomaceous earth if that's stuck on the chicken poop that you're cleaning out none of that is going to hurt your compost it's all going to be fine so um i am not an expert in composting by any means hopefully by the spring I'll, I'll have more information for you guys those barrel composters are really great you I mean I've seen people who just we had one here on the property actually um, that was just built with pallets and stuff but it was falling apart and there were nails sticking out and all sorts of other cool stuff for my kids so um, we had the landlords haul it off but I mean or you could use a tarp and just have a pile and let your chickens into it but the, again the key here is for the sake of disease and also you know not burning up your plants with the acidity of the ammonia for all of those reasons six to twelve months six to twelve months with that chicken poop so just a quick video something I was thinking about um, again I'm not an expert on this by any means but I wanted to pass the information on to you because as we learn more we want to do better so let me know in the comments do you compost have you been using it do you see a difference in your plants um, you know what what is your strategy what kind of composter do you have let's all help each other because you guys are all so kind and so great and I'm so grateful to all of you but I'm Sarah the real simple mama just a quick video we have lots of content coming up the line so make sure that you subscribe um, I'm here with any questions here's my email address but we're gonna play in the mud some more and then take a shower and I will talk to you guys soon thanks